George Borkhart, and this is another Higher Things video short. It's Friday the 13th. Should you be scared? That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring that bell, donate. If you like this pastor and that dog, well, despite the fact that you may not like us, if you love the gospel, being passed on to the next generation, like the channel, subscribe, like the video, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, to get notifications and donate right there. Your tax deductible gift keeps higher things. A youth organization all about the gospel keeps us a rolling. It, it's the 13th. I saw my cat pass me on the road. I stepped under a ladder. I hit the chalk on the softball field at practice. Walked right across it. I'm not wearing my lucky socks. I spilled the salt. All of these superstitions are supposed to somehow affect the universe. Do them, things go well. Don't do, things go bad. Lee. Say something. Knock on wood. All of these things are superstitions which have us put our faith in some other God other than Jesus. I don't know who came up with them. I don't know why they're there. And I could research the 13th. You can wiki it. Wikipedia it. Wikipedia it. Wikipedia it. Come here, boy. Jump in the bed. Jump in the bed. In the bed. But the big deal, the thing you need to ask yourself before all of these uh, superstitions is, is Jesus alive? Is he alive? Did he die for me? Did he do a Lent for me? Did he do a Good Friday for me? Did he die for me on the cross? And then on, on, on Easter morning, did he raise again from the dead for me? Because if he rose again from the dead, it doesn't matter if it's the 13th day of the, of the month on the Friday, the 13th, and you're on the 13th floor with 13 french fries, with 13 ice cubes in your diet Mountain Dew, with 13 egg rolls from your famous Chinese place. I don't know why you're eating french fries and egg rolls. With 13 different nationalities of food, reading a book with 13 pages, all of that is meaningless because Christ died for you and Christ rose for you and Christ lives for you and that means God is good for you every day and especially on the 13th day, Friday. If he's not, then you're on your own and you better come up with a religion on your own, something that will work to get you out of the fixes that you're in. But if God actually died and rose again for you, if he actually lives then there is every day God loves you. Spill the salt, God loves you. Black cat crosses your path, God loves you. Step on the chalk, well, better not do that on the salt. No, God loves you. Wash those socks you were playing softball with and you won the championship with, oops. God still loves you because he doesn't love you because of something you did or didn't do or some religion that you've got going on. It's not in the scriptures. I don't know. It's, it's a mess. No. He loves you because of Jesus. So you have anything to be afraid of on Friday the 13th. What if it's Friday the 13th and a full moon? Who cares? Because Christ died and rose again for you. Christ lives forever. And you live in him. And no matter what befalls you in this life, no matter what happens in this life, I don't care if you can't throw the dog a treat to save your life. Get in the bed, buddy. Ooh, you want this, buddy? In the bed. In the bed. Oh, look at that up. I don't care what happens to you. It's going to be just fine. You are the baptized. Into you, God has placed his body and blood, and his word is in your ears. You are 
okay. Because Jesus is okay. Think about that on the 13th, Friday the 13th. Think about that when things are good. Think about that when things are bad. You don't need to affect the universe by knocking on wood to make sure bad things don't happen. They're not going to happen to you because of Jesus. And if they do happen to you, Jesus is going to carry you through one way or another. Blessed Mary Lent on this Friday the 13th. I'm Pastor George Borkart. I'm a big dog Thor. And this has been a Higher Things video short.